Yeah, okay. Just just start describing Mac and me like it's E.T. Just be like, oh yeah, do you remember that movie with like the kid and then the kid finds an alien and they really like Skittles and Coca-Cola? Does E.T. get drunk? Hmm. <laughs> what? That's what Google's asking me. <laughs> and E.T. also intoxicates a child, eh? Does E.T. get drunk? Uh, because of his all-encompassing mind meld slash psychic link with Elliot, E.T. getting drunk gets the boy drunk too. Yes, this beloved universally popular blockbuster family film includes scenes of a drunk alien who intoxicates a child. Wait, what? Welcome to Rough Cuts. (laughs) I actually think, yeah! (laughs) Holy shit! Dogs, they're coming. They're coming your way. They'll be here soon. They were an average alien family living on their own planet. And we were an average family living on ours. He took my coke, Mom. Come on, you guys. I don't have it. I didn't take it. I knew it! Accidents happen, and like us, they found themselves in a strange new neighborhood. You sucked this living thing into a vacuum cleaner? Yeah, and then we blew him out again. Now Eric is risking not only his life, but my life. Give me the gun. Step back! To save them. This is the police. It's about more than friendship. It's about adventure. Mac and me. E.T. gets fucked up and it fucks up the kid! As we get started with the dissection, that happens! I don't remember this! Dude, that happens! <laughs> I'm watching it! What the fuck is E.T.? <laughs> oh. So now I feel like Mac and me is less fucked up than I realized because at least they don't show the kid getting psychically drunk from the alien drinking. Okay, so E.T. goes on a fucking drunken bender, yes. right? And just intoxicates this child incidentally, which implies that E.T. psychic link ability could also just intoxicate anyone. Yeah. Anyone. Right? It's much like how at the end of Mac and Me, they psychically link their Coca-Cola healing powers into the child after right? the cop shoots him in the fucking chest! <laughs> Just blasts him in the chest through a hole. Explosion. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. So, yes, the bullet <laughs> enters the back of the wheelchair bound yeah. child, exits the front of the child graphically, and then goes into a mall. Yeah. Blowing up the entire mall and the aliens in front of it in a fireball of death. And then a cop on screen gets 80 yards saying, he's dead. (laughs) Yes. Right? Uh, what's the... Yeah, no, they, he's they, gone. They, they, he's yeah, gone. Yeah, no, they say he's fucking dead. They they make it extremely clear that they shot that child yeah. through the chest, and he is absolutely fucking dead. <laughs> it's borderline experimental. Honestly, the experimental scene is their 
Ronald football ballerina dance, dance sequence in dance McDonald's. <laughs> why, why the fuck did we watch Mac and Me? Hold on. What are we doing with our lives? I watched it a lot as a kid, so I wanted to see it again. You foolish fool. <laughs> that, that was, that, like, the, that's the honest answer. I wanted, I wanted yeah. to know what the fuck was up with me as a kid. And the answer is, I was fucked up. What was going on with me? Because I watched this movie more than once. Mac and Me is another one of those famously bad movies. That's like, not nearly as bad that, as That's it talked is. about a lot yeah. anyways, right? Like it, yeah. It's like we did Son of the Mask. Son of the Mask is talked a lot about a lot as being one of the worst. Son of the Mask! This movie's just boring. <laughs> it's not bad. Like, There's bad parts of it and bad elements of it. But, like, it's mostly boring. <laughs> it's talked about as being one of the worst movies of all time. And it's yeah. it's competently shot, competently acted. It has some budget to it, um, mostly because of all of the Coca-Cola. Yeah, so... But that's, yeah, like, honestly, the most hmm. egregious and obvious thing is the fucking ads. That's the one thing that is not overstated you about You could organize movie. the scenes by advertisement. Oh, yeah. Not what happens in the scene. Just what advertisement is on screen? Like it you goes from it goes from Coke to Coke to Skittles to like to McDonald's to McDonald's yeah. to Otter to, Pops to, to Coke. Sears Gatorade. Like there's just carnation. Like, every ice cream, every like... scene is built around whatever is currently being advertised on the screen. Yes, yeah, that's egregious. Yeah, in that way, I will say that it's almost understated how bad the advertising is in this. This is like a Jack and Jill, like a, you know. Oh, yeah, this is this is a Adam Sandler of the 90s kind of thing where it's like every five minutes, it's like, oh, my God, TGI Fridays, we're going to go there. Yeah, the only thing it's missing is all of Adam's friends. <laughs> In every scene. Oh my god. Because they I need really a paycheck see, too, right? I really want to see Kevin James play the cop that shoots a child. <laughs> Kevin James on a Segway shooting a child. I think that probably happens. We haven't seen... Happens in some... We haven't seen Mall Cop yet. It could be. I'm not... not don't say yet. <laughs> Do not say yet. If I say yet, that means it'll happen. No. It, assuming mm-hmm. you subscribe to our Patreon um, mm-hmm. with enough... Funds. No, no, I no, no. Him, I, I am in charge of the Patreon. I'm not putting that up as a Patreon goal. I will be watching this movie. You cannot, you cannot do this to me. Oh, I'll I can allow do what it. I, want. I am, the, I am the arbiter of Patreon. <laughs> okay, so fuck that. No, we can watch Mac and Me, but Paul Blart too far. <laughs> okay, so on the Moon Titan. Surrounding yeah, it's Saturn, Titan. it has to be yeah. Titan. I, I, it's I, it's a yellow it desert now. planet with, um, you know, like uh, Jedi ground and piss, ground <laughs> piss that tastes like Coke. Um, there's well, that's where they mine the Coke from. Uncle Ben's skeleton inside of a house. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's. They've got the moisture evaporators that they're trying to fix. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. trying to fix them for their moisture farm. Yep, yep. Yeah. And then there's and then there's the robot that sucks off all the aliens and then blows them. <laughs> Why? It both okay. sucks and so blows. A moon. Did you land. know that they got three full loads out of those aliens? Three full loads. They got three loads. Three a, loads. A fucking yeah. a moon lander lands on Titan. And just starts picking up rocks and, and the aliens that... Not the only thing it picks up. I've no that always, that always have an O-face with their butthole melds. Yeah. Walk up and they're like, oh, it's picking up rocks. Let's give it some rocks. And then it pulls out a vacuum and just sucks them up. Up. Suck, yeah, up. 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 What up. It I sucks s- them up. I, I do remember this now. I remember this. Oh, it took me a minute, but I remember this. Oh no, it's gonna suck. Oh my god! Suck mode! That's how physics work, right? What? Okay, what the fuck? 
I remember that. I don't remember it being as bad as it is. Yeah, it sucks them up. And then and then they go to, like, a, a NASA lab after what has well, to be lunar, okay. a multiple-year journey This from lunar Saturn. rover has, like, it just blasts off back to Earth on, like, one yeah. jet. Like you would do to it, break it, the to break the gravity of Titan, it blasts off back to Earth, and then it lands in Area sixty nine, and, oh. and the scientists are just pulling out everything from the rover, and they're like, "Ah, oh, it's got three full loads." <laughs> really uh, sucked them up. Three full loads, uh, and then like a bunch of sparklers go off inside of it, and the aliens just pop out, and they're like, "Hey." I want to leave. <laughs> I'm going now. Well, not after the scientists talk about how many full loads they got. Yeah, they're talking about the loads and sucking and blowing, and it's just like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? Three full loads. And it's, oh my god, some of the, most of the special effects in this movie are fucking garbage. Oh yeah. It's like, like Windows Movie Maker spiral transition effect. Of the alien getting, like, swirled into the fucking Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, like, imagine if you've ever had, like, Photoshop or something, and all you do is you, like, grab a corner of the image, and then you just stretch it. (laughs) Like, that's what it is. Like, speaking of stretching, the aliens can also get stretched, like a Stretch Armstrong doll, which... Okay, this is a dated reference. Stretch Armstrong was a doll they used to sell in toy stores, which had cornstarch in it. And when you pulled on the rubber arm, it would extend the arm out because the cornstarch. I wish this was a joke, but honestly, like that is. I need to explain this. It's dated. Thirty years ago, at least. Nobody has a Stretch Armstrong doll. Nobody knows the fuck Stretch Armstrong is anymore. But uh, but but like the the alien stretches out like one. It feels like, like they're not supposed to have bones or something. Yeah. Because like, what is the anatomy is a, of, of the Mac? Because this is a lunar rover. Like, this is a little, like, lunar lander yeah. thing. One of these aliens is taller than it. The dad, yeah, the dad the big alien Mac. is taller than the lunar lander. Yeah, the big it Mac. It sucks him and three others into it. It sure does suck all of them. It sure sucks all of them. <laughs> It sucks this whole family of aliens. It, just it, every it, one of them on screen <laughs> graphically. There's there's mom Mac, mommy, mommy back, alien gets sucked mommy back. Oh, I want to point out real quick that you also said they all have Pixar mom ass. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not true. They gave Ma, uh, they gave uh, Mac and me a Pixar mom ass. They sure did. I that is entirely. This is a <laughs> massive misrepresentation of what I said. I said that the original, the little child Mac and me, has a mom Pixar dump truck ass. Okay, so... Specifically, so, one of them has one a dump, them track, dump truck dump truck. Pixar ass. So, Only so, one of them. So there's a Big Mac, there's Mommy oh, Mac, damn it. there's Daughter Mac, and then there's Little Mac from Punch-Out. But, Those are the Macs. But it's like, the return of the Mac. One of them shouldn't fit in this machine. Like one of one them of shouldn't them. fit in this machine. And yeah, the Big Mac, the at family. least, yeah. It's super fucking weird. And like, and then when it co- they come to Earth, they break out of the lunar machine somehow. Yeah. I don't know. And they and just, just leave. Explodes. They and just they walk just, away. Then they just walk out. They've got like weird electric magic powers where they can just blow shit up with their hands. I guess. They have magic unexplained powers that can do everything. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. Fair. Yeah. There's Which no means, rules. Obviously, they had to drink the ground... It's, it comes from the magical uh, Coca-Cola ground piss on The Coca-Cola... Titan. Yeah, the Coca-Cola geyser from Titan. So they yeah. stick it... I actually like this little bit, honestly, because it's shown like Titan is this big desert planet kind of thing. So they have to, like, scratch for groundwater, I guess, or moisture, and they, like, stick this kind of straw on it to suck it out. I actually think that's kind of cool little world building. What's the atmosphere of Titan? I'm going to look this up while you talk. But anyway, well, like to go further into the no bones thing, as they're running away from the military here, 
Little Mac runs over to a hole in the fence to get out, and he grabs onto it, but a helicopter lands, and it blows him back, like, but stretches him out, like he's 10 feet long because he's just got no bones? I don't... I okay. don't get it. It's I don't understand funny. the anatomy of these aliens at all. No, Titan has a thick sense. atmosphere that's four times denser than Earth's, right? So just that would, like, crush their lungs. Like, see, like their lungs I, would collapse. And you said that it was so much denser. At first I thought, like, uh, yeah. before you said that it was denser, I was thinking, okay, I guess that the idea is that Titan has less gravity, so I guess they're, like, boneless alien? I, I, I do enjoy my aliens boneless, to be fair. Like, it sucks to pick out the bones. But, yeah, 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 if you're gonna, yeah. If you're but, gonna like, come on, the, their lungs would collapse. Sure outside lungs. outside of that, the atmosphere is mostly nitrogen with a hint of fart. Because hmm. it's got methane. Hmm. So they got a farty nitrogen atmosphere, and they're coming to Earth, which is mostly oxygen. Their entire respiratory uh, it's, system. It's, no, it's not mostly oxygen, it's mostly nitrogen. Oh, yeah, never mind, yeah. Oxygen and <laughs> nitrogen. Most, oxygen, it was mostly we, oxygen. We're in we, fucking trouble, friend. We inhale oxygen and exhale, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Point point is, the respiratory system is not built for this. Oh no, yeah, none of this makes any sense. But and, I mean, and, like, and then, and then you throw in the gravity equation. <laughs> like some of that. Like, what is this magic alien? What sure, is happening? Some of that. Some of that I'm okay with because you can just kind of like, uh, like you if you don't bring it up. Yeah. But we watch them get... Like, they got flattened on a windshield like a fucking bug. Yeah. Like, they don't have... The, like, that shit's weird. So, like, he jumps through the hole in the fence after being stretched out a mile long because of just the the brief wind from a helicopter. Like, it blows it, it like into nothing. a yeah. stretched out form. And then he jumps out of there and runs onto the highway and gets splattered across a windshield. And he's... Like you said, he's flat. Like it's like he's putty. Like, but then it's the, never shown like that again. Like they're shown like they have bones. They walk around like people. This is like in a horror movie where they don't explain how the killer does things. Like they just do whatever because they wanted to. I right? Guess, like it's like yeah. that. But like, it, I don't know. I, I, I guess the problem that I had, like, I don't mind the oxygen stuff like oh they came from titan and it doesn't make sense they'd be able to live on it like i get that stuff like whatever just don't bring it up because it's just a kids movie like just don't bring it up so whatever. let's just say that they came from another planet but when they actually show something that's super physically impossible it feels like they need to have some kind of mention of it and not just brush over it and never bring it up again okay the <sighs> whatever titan titan could potentially have life because it has lakes of water yes. salt water yeah. but water um you know mixed in with Whatever. all their nitrogen and methane so assumably the piss coming out of the ground is mm -hmm. water i know it's what, wouldn't would the coke dehydrate them? <laughs> no like it's gotta be i don't on the <laughs> From this movie's canon, I'm positive it's Coke because I kept a counter of how many times Coke was in a scene. There are 13 scenes of Coca-Cola, my friend. And when I say 13 scenes, I don't mean I was counting the Coke cans. I couldn't have done that. I'd have been in the hundreds. I'm talking yeah. about like there would be a five minute scene where a Coke can gets passed back and forth between characters as a major plot point. And I just I would count that as one. We ran into yeah. trouble with that later with the McDonald's counting because there's a scene and there's there's a McDonald's scene. Oh, uh, that McDonald's scene. I understand now. Anyway, so Mac gets splattered on the highway and then they're, the family that we are going to follow is stuck in traffic. Uh, it's a single mom. I think they imply that the dad died recently. Maybe, I feel like that's an implication. Maybe, maybe the dad just didn't like the Chicago Bears. God, they have a lot of Chicago Bears <laughs> stuff, too. I feel like that also had to be advertising. Like, it had to be, right? Yeah, it had to be. Like, they, they got be. the official sponsor of the Chicago Bears. Because there's even... Mac turns into a fucking bear later in a bear costume. Like, that's yeah, a yeah. Chicago Bear reference, too, at the same Probably. time. But, like... 
he sneaks into the back of their station wagon while they're stuck because of the big accidents that's caused by their escape. And then he just hides out in the back of their station wagon where they have blinds on the back window. Uh, so it, it's cool. less a station wagon and more of like a 70s porn van. Yeah. With like well, a I mean, water bed. I have all that family in the, with the sucking and the loads and... Ugh. Um, it's a water, it's a waterbed van with blinds is what it is. Oh God. It's, it's gross. Um, but yeah, so. Don't bring like, a black light into that. Mac just like follows them. Sure. They're moving into their new house, but then it's just like 20 minutes of nothing happening. And Mac just wandering around creepily watching these kids and, and the mom, like he's some sort of Michael Myers. And all of these dipshits just not noticing him. They're like hitting yeah. him with doors He's standing in doorways watching them as they talk. Like they'll be in a kitchen in the kitchen making food, and Max just standing in the doorway watching them in the background. And they just and have a conversation for yeah. like three or four minutes as they make breakfast. And he's just standing there watching them. And they're just like, Is no one gonna mention the tiny aliens? Maybe, maybe they noticed, but they didn't want to say anything, right? Like just embarrassed about it. Like, yeah, oh. it's like, oh, the max back God, the neighbors here again jeez uh we just ignore him maybe he'll go away i mean speaking of the neighbors that that oh, girl well let's not get yeah that girl yeah mm, there's some <sighs> this is a movie from the 90s yeah there's some yeah um, racially insensitive stuff so just like the snorks god <laughs> oh, I had to they're, explain they're... to you what the Snorks was. You never heard of the Snorks? I'd never heard of the Snorks. They show the, the snorks. snorks twice in this movie. Come along with the Snorks. Swim along with the Snorks. So much to see waiting for you and me. Have some fun with the Snorks. It's like a shitty knockoff of the Smurfs because the Smurfs needed a knockoff. <laughs> Never watched the Smurfs either. The, the Snorks are basically yeah. um, what is it? It's like a when you buy like shrimp, you know, oh, like, like in the, the mail. Monkeys. It's the the Snorks are sea monkeys, ah, basically. Okay. But that's the joke of the Snorks. They're miserable. Um, yeah, because he's just watching. They they have like scenes of the kid watching snorks and drinking Coca Cola. Well, yeah, and... these are these are advertisement scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's That's twenty right. minutes the of Mac watching them be advertised to. There is half of this movie is advertising or more. Yeah, like, like the kid's yeah. like putting Skittles down. There's like a Coke in his lap. He's mm. holding a Gatorade box to carry his stuff around. Well, like, like one of the ones where I realized it was going to be. We really egregious was in this whole opening montage of them. So it's them moving into a new house because the mom mm. moved across country for a big job, which is her to work as a like cashier at Sears. A cashier at Sears. She's making five dollars an hour in this time, and and they have maybe a even less. Out maybe in even the less. LA like, suburbs. Like what was the minimum wage at that time? It could have been like know. three dollars in ninety two. Fucking no, I don't know. Like, she's barely making anything, and she's living in this huge, like, five-bedroom house. Like, Overlooking, like, a like ranch. the desert outside of L.A. somehow. Yeah, she bought, like, I a five-bedroom ranch. Is there, is L.A. just, okay, I know that a lot of California is desert, but it's not just, you go five minutes out of L.A. and suddenly it's all desert, right? <laughs> like, uh, not L.A. proper, I want to say. Because, like, what the fuck yeah. is, was that? Because it's just, literally, I and mean, everything outside of L.A. is a fucking wasteland. Yeah, and it looks like Arizona, oddly enough. Yeah. <laughs> almost like and they didn't enough, shoot it, it in California. Looks like Titan. Yeah, almost like, oh yeah, it is kind of like Titan. Oh, like Titan. Almost, almost like they didn't shoot it huh. where they said they were. Weird. Anyways, you know, they didn't fly to Titan and shoot it. But the, the, so there's this whole opening montage of all of this, and the part where I realized it was going to be really egregious for the advertising is she's putting the kid to sleep, the, the main uh, mm -hmm. kid, Eric, and 
as she's putting him to sleep, they kind of zoom it out a little bit. So he's laying in bed and she's like tucking him in. And you can see a tiny bit of the corner of the nightstand in the bottom right hand side. And on that nightstand is a very carefully framed Skittles bag inside of it so that you can just just kind of just kind of see enough of yeah, it out of the corner of the bottom. Of like, holy shit. Just fuck. Little a Skittle is a treat. Yeah. Yeah. And like, scene. My my favorite is when yeah. they'll do like there's a, a scene of them looking in like the uh, kitchen or something like mm-hmm. that, looking at the kitchen table and there's a Coke can and they turn the Coke can. So it says Coke. <laughs> yes. And then, and then there's a sharp cut to a completely different angle from the back of it. And they turned it again. So it says Coke. So the, the can yeah. is rotating with the can. <laughs> yes. Every single time that they, they take a shot in that kitchen and there's the Coke can I on love the it. table. The Coke label is very firmly like turned exactly. So you can see Coke. every time they couldn't every show time. that can without it saying Coke. You had, like, there was no moment in this movie where they showed a Coca-Cola can where it didn't have the Coke label facing no. out towards the camera uh, same same with the sprite can yes yeah i didn't actually include that in the coca-cola yeah. stuff yeah. even though it is a coca-cola product. it's a coke thing yeah. so that was a f- there are 14 scenes of coca-cola but, but they made sure to blur the pepsi logo in the back of the yes. store you know, you can't see that no but the coke Oh boy. Oh anyway, so we have a huge opening montage of them getting the house ready, them unpacking, doing all this kind of stuff. And it's just like Yeah, and basic family shit. Until like, Mac TV. becomes like a little shit and just starts throwing like weeds and flowers and branches all over the place, gets a drill and drills a hole in the wall and then another hole in the wall and cuts the door in half with a fucking saw. Yeah, he uses a circular saw to cut, like, a big triangle in the front yeah. door. What a little and shit. The the kid in the wheelchair is watching all of this happen, and then the mom wakes up and she runs and she's like, Oh my god, what's going on? Oh, how did you do all this to my living room? Oh my god. And he's like, well, it was like the little alien guy. I just woke up. And I mean, listen, kids can be shits. There is no way that child did that much damage in, like, the five minutes that he was awake. In a wheelchair. In a, he yeah. would have, like, the holes, the drill holes, too high. were higher than he could lift. Yeah, unless he, like, yeah. so, and she's like, oh, I can't believe you did this. And he's like, but I, I didn't. She just screams at him. And it's, what the, like, do you not understand physics? This mom is, this mom is unbelievably this mom is stupid. Very stupid. Like, very honestly, stupid. everybody in this movie is, they have switched their brains firmly into the off position how often yep. Mac is just like standing in doorways, getting hit by the doors they're opening that he was in the shower in the house with the shower running mm-hmm. and none of them noticed it. And then he gets out and he walks through the house with wet feet, wet, muddy feet. And the one kid follows it in his wheelchair. And then all of them are like, I don't believe you. And it's like, there's fucking footprints in the house. And they're like, I don't know. I didn't see anything. And it's, what Look, the fuck are you talking about? Some people don't believe Bigfoot exists, and we got footprints of that. That's so, true. We do know. have, we have, I have seen video evidence. I can get, I, there's a YouTube channel I can show you. I have seen proves. video evidence of casts of those footprints. Yeah, I have, listen, I can show you about 12 different blurry videos I, of Bigfoot. I can right show you now. Harry and the Hendersons right now. That's a documentary. Motherfucker, but, they, okay, they so, pretend that it's not. So Eric rolls his wheelchair out to the edge of their ranch, their millionaire ranch that she makes on a three dollar, you know, salary, three dollar per hour salary. Um, and and he's just like inching closer and closer to the edge of this ledge on his wheelchair because he hears Mac just whistling because Mac's a piece of shit and is luring him into this death trap. Yeah. And, so, and he just he just fucking just, careens aside, down just, the hill, right? Like Yeah, he rolls down the, I just wanna as an aside, the reason why I wanted to interrupt you is I I wanted to watch this movie because I'd actually seen it multiple times as a child. Uh-huh. And I remember I remembered almost nothing from it, but I did remember that he like rolls down a hill and breaks his brakes on his wheelchair as he's doing it. 
I did not remember the ending to this. I just, I just want to make. I'm like, I have no oh. idea how I didn't remember the end. Describe the rest of it. I just wanted he, to go ahead with that because I'm like, how the fuck did I not remember this? He speeds down this grassy hill in his wheelchair, mm-hmm. going like 40 miles per hour. Yeah, and, and I just, think Max gonna save him, and then just flies right off the fucking cliff, barrel rolls in the like air multiple foot. times, and then falls a hundred feet into a, a shallow lake. Breaking every bone in his body. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is what I thought would happen. Yeah. yeah. Seems accurate. He got stopped. I didn't realize. Okay, I don't remember this. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that looked amazing. <laughs> Pretty good. Holy shit! I remember Max saving him. Yeah, I did not remember that they threw him off the fucking cliff. First. Yeah, and then he starts drowning in the water with all of his broken bones, and Mac pops up from under screen going, <laughs> and then he dives in and saves the kid, I guess, which well, no one sees again. I guess, yeah. And he says, and like the kid shows up on shore in his wheelchair, and like after falling off this hundred foot cliff, and he goes, "Oh my god, the the little guy rescued me." And the mom's like, stop making shit up. And it's like, how the fuck did he drop a hundred feet off of a cliff into a lake and come out with his goddamn wheelchair if no one yeah. helped him? Yeah, right? Like, it makes no fucking sense. God so, damn it. So God then, damn it, mom. The, the kids, uh, Eric's brother. By the way, we never mentioned uh, the, the neighbor's sister, the older sister, who is yeah. a McDonald's employee and is only shown on screen wearing McDonald's attire. She has, n- she, she does not, she does not get out of her work uniform and wear anything but McDonald's gear. Yeah, her McDonald's work uniform is the only outfit they gave her for this fucking movie. Um, well, that way you can have the golden arches on screen more often. You can have a yeah. higher APM or advertisements per minute. It's true. It's true. Hey, hey, hey but, guess what? I'm like great Game Grumps now. I also stole that joke you, you from you. You stole my joke, you son of a bitch. Just like Game Grumps did when you did your Pepsi Man run, and then they immediately did the same joke afterwards no, after it, watching SDG. SD. It's <laughs> not just that one joke. They stole my entire performance. If you watch my video in the Game Grumps play, Incredible. they literally stole my commentary. It's Incredible. so bad. Incredible. Um, but okay, so... After that, the kids decide they're going to catch Mac so they can prove that Mac exists. And they get a vacuum cleaner and they yes. lure Mac in using, uh, what, straws? They, they well, no. Uh, they make like a line of straws and, and set up a Coke. Yeah, I was gonna, what they do is they no, they just leave Coke out on the window because he loves yeah. Coca Cola so but, much. But then, like they they blast open a door. They're like, "What up, motherfucker?" Yeah, they're in the fucking <laughs> closet, and then they immediately suck Back off. In? I mean, up, up. They suck yeah, they, up this they, alien. They up. suck him up into it, and then mm-hmm. the possessed vacuum starts running around the walls and the ceiling, attached to the girl. They have a whole like a fucking guy scene thing. of this, like, yeah, yeah. Of Mac, like, ripping this child through the house, destroying everything. Yeah, uh, and they catch it, uh, and then, was it the the brother or the, the mom that's talking to him afterwards? Because he the... says something like, we sucked the alien, and then, oh no, she says, you sucked the alien? <laughs> He and, sucked him. And, and then the he's like, is and we blew him. him out again. You suck this living thing into a vacuum cleaner. Okay. Yeah, and then we blew him out again. Mm, nope. Truth, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Do not Wait, like you're that. sucking off the MAC and nope. my vacuum. Not a fan of that. That was a bad line read. <laughs> Did not like that at all. Is it a bad line read, or is it just a bad line? 
And then we sucked and blew this alien, they scream. We sucked and blew him. He was here. We sucked him and blew him. We, they could we, have, you don't believe it, Mom. We sucked and blew this alien. They could have rewrote that. They yeah, they could have really rewrote that line. They could have they really redone that line. They absolutely could have. They did not could've. need to do that. Um, Another thing that happens in between this is that after he destroys, like, the whole house and then he rescues the kid, he comes back and fixes everything. Mac does, yeah. Mac does. Yeah, Mac comes back in and, like, the house is just fixed. And the mom goes like, oh, thanks, kids, for cleaning things up. They cut a fucking triangle hole in a solid oak, like, front door. And now it's suddenly healed and she thinks that her like eight-year-old wheelchair-bound son, like, like, listen, I, and, and like the brother did it. Like, Gorilla I'm not trying glue, to say man. that wheelchairs can't do things, but we're talking about children. Like, this is like ten thousand dollars of the damage to this house. I couldn't fix that shit. You can't just fix a hole. And, and she's like, "Wow, thanks, kids." And they're like, "The little alien did." And she's like, "Uh huh, sure." And it's how the fuck else do you fix that? They bought a new door? Like, <laughs> your eight-year-old kid, like, wheeled himself out of the house and found a bunch of contractors to fix this for a couple grand? Like, what the fuck is going they, on? They bought some Gorilla, Gru- gorilla Glue gorilla gl- <laughs> and, and duct tape, and uh, they fixed it. You don't understand. They, yeah, that's fair. They did miss out on a big advertising opportunity by having Mac Gorilla Glue all of it back. Yeah. But it's really funny because the kids are walking around and they're like, whoa it, it everything looks exactly the way it was almost like we shot this scene first yeah. before we drilled holes in the wall oh wow almost like the beginning almost like the scene where we destroyed this house is the last scene that we filmed yeah, in this we did movie. that one last so we knew we didn't need them anymore weird mm-hmm, mm-hmm. oh flower on his pillow too yeah, what the fuck? Or is that stitched? I don't think that's stitched in. No, that's a flower. Wow. He cleaned up everything. What? Wow. You think he did it? He also fixed the hole in the Check wall. Y'all the, the door. How does this what? It's almost like we shot this scene first. <laughs> mm-hmm. I I wasn't good. I was about to say it. Anyway, yeah, so she doesn't she doesn't believe them they captured the alien inside the machine because they blow him out and like that the brother's like, no, I believe him, like I saw it too, and everybody's yelling about it, but she doesn't mm-hmm. believe any of her kids because she's an awful parent. She's an awful parent, yeah. yeah. But okay, so at, at the same time, uh the men from Area 69 show back up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and they're like, we're looking for that alien. We're going to stake out this random neighborhood that we have no idea that the alien's in for no reason at all. Uh, and we think that that kid's got it and he's hiding it. Yeah. I, do, I, I don't know. Yeah, so they just start sure. staking out the front of the house and watching from their station wagon, you know, like all yeah. government agents have. They're, they're government-issued station wagon that they have in their three-piece suits, which is... Because, yeah, the, a choice. the mom and Eric went out yeah. for a jog. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and Mac commandeers an RC vehicle. <laughs> Correct. And starts driving down the middle of the road as every dog in the neighborhood Mm -hmm. runs after him. And then Mac does like a rollout, tumbling down a hill in his vehicle with no roll cage. Correct. Breaks every bone in his body and then climbs a tree to hide from the dogs as romantic music plays. I'm, about I friendship. May have named, I may have named my recording of this already as Max Tragic Rollover. Because, <laughs> yeah, they show the RC car smoking on the side of the road. It's if kind Mac of had bones, he would have been dead. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing he doesn't have any bones. But, oh yeah. god, I, I just want to say, like, for some of the blatant advertising, too, in the middle of all of this, one of the things that happens yeah. also is that they, like you said, like, there's the neighbor girl that works at McDonald's. 
and they have to drive the mom to like work at one point or like they drive the girl to work i I don't know they they're driving somebody to work like the the brother and the young kid eric i don't even remember the name of the older brother i don't even remember the older brother's name yeah. yeah 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 so they're driving somebody and then he's like oh man after all that work i'm kind of hungry you know what we should do and it's like i know what you want to do get a big mac (laughs) like like there's a fucking scene for that where they just and then they just cut that scene like they just leave an extra 30 seconds and they're like wow you know what really hits the spot for hunger the big Big mac Mac. now at mcdonald's for 2.99 wow it's only 2.99 oh my god like it's just you can get a special big mac and me happy meal yeah take your kids to mcdonald's which we thought was egregious but then it got worse later so so much worse so much uh, worse so the men from area 69 are like okay that kid definitely has the alien we're gonna go in and get him and so they hide mac by stitching together a teddy bear costume in real time Mm -hmm. to fit him Correct. Which doesn't look at all like a stuffed animal. Oh God, no! no and and they trick the neighbor's neighbor thing. girl's mom into thinking that he's just bringing a teddy bear with him to their trip to McDonald's. Yes. So, as a quick thing, um, for the people that maybe haven't seen this, uh, the Mac and you should look up Mac and Me Alien just to see what like they look. Oh, like. I hate the they're, alien. Oh, they 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 look terrifying, but also they have like big bug eyes so kind mm-hmm. of like if you've ever seen like the grays kind of like the typical big-headed area 51 aliens, yeah right and how they have big big eyes mac and me kind of has that like the, the aliens it, in this kind of have like they have really really big eyes like their eyes are half the size of their fucking head They've yeah got like really really big eyes like big eyes all forehead yes it's just like your but, japanese anime mm-hmm but those big eyes, like, they have these massive, bulging, horrifying eyes. Like a big st- piece of pie. Yeah. That they stitch holes for in this teddy bear. So it's got, like, these horrifically large <laughs> eyes staring out of this teddy bear costume. And it just is very uncomfortable. <laughs> it, like, it's extremely amore. It doesn't, yeah. Mm, yeah, they look in Mac's eyes. <laughs> Like says, a big ah, pizza pie. When I look in your eyes, that's amore. Eh? Mm-hmm. When you dance down the street like you've had too much food, you're in love. When that's amore. And then the mother of the neighbor uh, was coming to pick up this uh eric and yeah to take him to mcdonald's yeah so they could go to a birthday party at mcdonald's Mm because they needed to have a big scene of that because they didn't have enough advertising yet i had only at this point in the film i had heard over and over and over again how much mcdonald's advertising is in this specifically and i was like okay i'm up to 10 different coca-cola scenes and two mcdonald's scenes Mm -hmm. i'm like it seems like it's way more egregious on the side of coke and then suddenly we got the third McDonald's scene, but it's it doesn't feel fair to count it as only three it's, at that point because they drive to McDonald's yeah. and they have an extended dance sequence inside it, and outside of the McDonald's. Because they drive up to break dancers outside with a boom box, mm-hmm. dancing outside in, in the parking lot of McDonald's. Mac and me dancing all over the place. That's right, motherfucker. Uh, uh, are they uh, dancing outside uh. the McDonald's? <laughs> are they? I think they are. I they think are. Dan- they totally fucking are. Oh my god. Hell yes. Hell yeah. into an inside scene of Ronald McDonald personally talking to our characters and Mac in the teddy bear costume. And then a flash dance competition with football players and ballerinas and fucking everyone. (laughs) 
I love these these agents have gotta be like, wait, why are people dancing outside the McDonald's? How do we count this? Okay, this is a lot of McDonald's. Hold Cause on. like, yeah, they, they I'm even like got Ronald. I know. Do we count this as? Cause I don't feel like I can count this as one advertisement for McDonald's. This doesn't seem fair to count it as one. Yep. The For government five agents minutes. crash the whole thing as they're having like their big they they pushed aside all of the McDonald's like tables and chairs so they could have a break dance I, competition. It's somehow more egregious than Dunka Cheeto. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. I I'd don't say understand. no, but yeah, probably. Wow! Al Pacino! It's not Al anymore! It's Dunk! Dunkachino? Don't mind if I do! I don't understand. <laughs> it's... Like, at least Dunkachino... Like, Dunkachino's in a shitty movie by a shitty person. Not not Al Pacino. I'm talking about Adam Sandler. But, like... At least that was in context of the film and advertisement they were shooting for the story. I guess. This is just an advertisement. <laughs> Like, straight up, there's no reason this happens. No, yeah, there's they not even, they don't even bother to make a plot reason for it. No! Like it, it, in the Dunkachino scene in Jack and Jill, at least the plot of the movie revolves around him. Like, they were like, yeah. okay, if we're going to make a big advertisement in the middle of our film, let's, like, find some bullshit excuse to have it. And they make yeah. the whole movie around an advert, like, Oh, he's an advertising executive, so of course we have to shoot an advertisement. So they kind of do that, and I mean, it's still egregious and stupid and awful, right? But they—you can tell that they tried to cover it. This they don't even try. They don't. No, give there's a shit. no reason they're going to this McDonald's other than I mean, that. There's no, no reason. reason for it to no be reason. this long and to have this much advertising in it. Like when we say that there's this much advertising in it, it's like okay, well, other movies are set inside of a Burger King or something. And it's like yeah, I, I get that. But then they don't have, like, Ronald McDonald there. They don't have the Burger King King there. They don't have, then, when they get chased outside by the government agents, in the parking lot is a big uh, semi that's, like, the food trucks mm -hmm. kind of thing, like, to dump off a load of, you know, whatever. To make sure the arch is on the screen. So to make sure that you yeah. can see the McDonald's logo in the parking lot so that yeah. it has the big logo on the truck. And then when they run away from that and they're running into the woods... You can see in the background, there's still a little bit of the McDonald's, and it's framed in such a way so that in the top right corner, the golden arches are peeking out of the trees, so you can still fucking see them. Like, like the God worst damn. part was, every time Ronald McDonald was on screen, they turned him so his face was in, in camera. <laughs> <laughs> they, like, quick cut, and Ronald McDonald would, like, flip 180 degrees. Some of the some of the Ronald facial expressions in this movie are terrifying. I just want to mention. They, I, you know what they didn't show because it would scare the kids is that uh, like porcelain Ronald McDonald statue sitting on a bench. Oh God! Yeah, they yeah, wouldn't show that. That would scare the kids. Horrifying. <sighs> but yeah, no it it's pretty it's pretty egregious how much it's just. Every single scene has to have a golden arches framed in it. Like that's that's kind yeah. of the thing is that it's not just that it's shot in the McDonald's; it's the way that it's shot in the McDonald's. Yeah, it, it was shot like like a, a fresh out of the fryer, freshly salted, you know, order of of fries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just you know, something you would want and enjoy yeah, yeah, yeah. for the low cost of two American dollars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know when you're talking about like the crisp freshness of the McDonald's fries, I just it really reminds me of yeah. Uh, it really reminds me of Pringles and how once you pop them, they're just really nicely lightly salted and they're not greasy like regular chips. Yeah, and you can't stop afterwards. You just can't stop. Yeah, Pringles. No. I mean, like they're just fantastic. Anyway, so back to the uh, show. Where's not? Hey, you know Talk what I need to us. You know what I need after the Pringles, though? Let me rotate the book. This bottle of Pepto-Bismol. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it yeah, really, yeah, yeah. It really helps me 
deal well, with my I, problems. You know, I find that actually Pringles go down smooth enough that I don't need a lot of Pepto Bismol, but they the, all that salt can be a little bit like um, dehydrating. Oh and yeah, so I yeah. Really, really like the thirst quenching power of uh, Powerade, which you can see right here. Oh right? yeah, no, yeah, that yeah. seems great. Oh, you got to rotate the. Can you do I, that again? No, I, yeah, Can you do that again? Oh, you did. Okay, good. There we go. That'll help our contractual obligations. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So, so uh, yeah, so back to the McDonald's. It, it is that, but it is that. Like, that, that's what this movie is. That's what this is. It, the, what, like, it's, they always exaggerate how bad these yeah. quote unquote worst movie evers are. This movie is not that bad. It's really not. <laughs> But the advertising is not exaggerated. That's the oh. one thing where I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, no, it is as egregious as they say. It is absolutely that bad. Holy fuck. Because the Coke also becomes a main plot point multiple times. One of the reasons why they take him in his bear suit uh, into the McDonald's is because he's sick. Like, they have him sitting on the Because he couch, hasn't had Coke and he, in, like... And they're like well, oh, I it's because he... It's because he's on a sugar, you know, down. Yeah, he's crashing from he's all crashing, the coke. crashing, crashing from all the coke. But they, but they say that yeah. he's sick, and they keep on going like, "Oh, I think that he's not feeling good. Maybe we should help him find his family now." So they, out of nowhere, they just kind of pull this plot up. The movie meandered around for an hour. They should do something. Yeah. So eventually, they're like, like "Wait, a... um, I guess he's maybe the alien is sick. I guess question mark." And then he needs to find his family. So. He psychically knows where his family is, like, for no reason. There's no explanation as to why he knows where his family uh, is. I think his family was whistling in the desert to him in some scenes, and he was whistling back. Maybe? But then Did you know that aliens, them? the Mac aliens, communicate through echolocation? <laughs> but wouldn't, wouldn't he have just gone to them if they were close enough to hear the whistles? It doesn't make any fucking sense. So... They, yeah. The kids gra are now being chased by government agents out of the McDonald's, and they have an extended chase sequence where they go into our next advertising location, the Sears that the mom works at, and they firmly display all of the wonderful products that you can buy at the local Sears. Yeah, do you know you can get a He-Man toy televisions and in your local Sears? televisions and... Whew, they they got... even have, they have toys, televisions, they have clothes, all in the same mm -hmm. easy to shop location at your local Sears. You can check yeah. the catalog for, for me. Yeah, I really like that. And right next to the Sears is a nice Jamba juice. So if you're feeling mm -hmm. thirsty, you can pick up some Jamba. All right, I think that fills our contractual obligation. So, so um, Jamba, yeah, the Jamba, yeah, yeah. the Jamba helps. Yeah. Did we, um, did we, we do that? Did we miss any? Have we talked about Tide yet? Wait. So they no. go through the laundry line also, which are crisp and fresh. <laughs> From the uh, recent Tide, you can really, sm it almost like has a smell to it with how, how incredibly fresh and bouncy they are from, from Tide. Yeah, the new formula really helps. Yeah, yeah, I used yeah. to not like Tide, but their new formula is honestly surprising. Even for me, who doesn't generally like Tide laundry detergent. Yeah. You know it's Maybe. not a paid opportunity because I said that I didn't like it originally, but the new formula. Ooh. Yeah, new one's way better. Okay, so it's so, like... We're good I think that. that helps. Yeah, we're good on yeah. that one. Okay, so after they go through the Sears and light it on fire and burn it to the ground, the mm -hmm. <laughs> the agents from Area 69 run after them again, and the sister of the neighbor drives up in the weird porn van uh, in her McDonald's attire still and picks up oh, all boy. the kids, and Mac is like, let's go find their parents! Which is now suddenly the plot of this movie, and then like, yeah, we get pop music and road like road trip shit starts happening. Like, there's no explanation as to why suddenly the family matters. Like, I whatever. But so they drive into the desert. They go past the windmills, which is almost clever because because they Mac was putting like daisies inside of straws. Uh, and and leaving like, them everywhere. And also, like, twisting straws up to make yeah. them, like, spin. Which was yeah. a neat little... It, it almost, like you said, that almost works. Like, almost if, it had, if it wasn't for such blatant advertising, if it wasn't just in Coke cans, if he was just, like, using straws all the time and doing that, yeah. it would kind of make sense. But, yeah, that was so, their excuse for it, I guess. So they go to the desert. Uh, they wheelchair into a an abandoned mine and they find his entire family on the ground 
dead as fucking shit. Dead. They're just dead. fucking dead. They're like poking the body. It's not moving. They're poking the he eye with a stick. His eye. The, the one kid, the bro, the older brother, jams yeah. his finger in the eye. Yeah. Why would like, you do that? They're like poking it with a stick. Yeah, your parents are dead, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> and, and then so one of them he... like wiggles a bit. They're like, oh shit, they're alive. Get the coke. So he emergency runs back to the van and he goes, quick, give me those coke cans. And then he runs back into the mine and gives them the healing power of coke, which like, immediately saves them. I've heard of magic powers of coke before, but it was like removing rust, which also you shouldn't do. Don't pour coke no. on your shit. But I've never heard of it reviving the dead. Like, well, and like, is this a is this a Stephen King thing? Are we in Maine? Did we change locations? <laughs> the other thing is that that really pisses me off about this is that. It goes from, oh, Mac is really sick, he needs to find his family, to we find the family. Oh, and the family's actually sick. And I guess that they're dehydrated, but they just drink Coke, so who fucking... And so, I don't know. And then yeah. Mac's fine. They, they never bring up that Mac is sick ever again. No. They have this whole extended thing about how sick Mac is, and oh, we have to get into his family so they can heal him. Oh, he's sick, 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 Mac. Oh, God, we gotta save Mac. He finds his family and they're like, oh no, the family's sick. And then he's healed? Question mark? Because the family's healed? And the family's healed. The ham family is healed from being fucking dead. Yeah, because to, of, co of Coca-Cola. Like, totally fine because they had a single can of Coca-Cola. Look, the cold, refreshing taste of Coca-Cola is very restorative. We all know that. That's why I keep a you know cooler in my car when i go on on trips and hiking because when you get back from a hike sometimes you just want a nice crisp coke well yeah i mean if you have an emergency medical kit in your yeah. car it's got to have coca-cola in it that's just obvious but i didn't yeah. think they needed to go that far with it in this movie anyway let me check so that that's out. So, right. that's part of what um, happens so so okay but they save the family yeah. uh they're driving back because they have no plan and they don't know what the fuck to do now that they got the family so they they stop at a gas movie station. Movie doesn't even know. This no, movie's the like, movie's wait, what do we do with them now? Wait, everywhere. We rescued them now. What? But the so they they stop by a gas station slash grocery store. Yeah. I guess it's both. It's like a like a Safeway or like, an in like a mall. Or something. I, it, there's a mall um, actually next to it. Is what it, there is a mall but, too. Yeah. So it's like a strip mall grocery store that also has gas. Um, I but the, they stop there and and. They go to pick up more Coke because they ran out of soda. And they need to get more Coca Cola. That is literally the, the reason why they do this. <laughs> and, and that is like, the stated reason. Max dad is creeping on this lady next to them in her what? car. She's creeping on them as much as and she's, she's creeping, creeping on, on them. It's like, oh, sexy alien! I saw that yeah. dumb truck ass through the fucking <laughs> the dad, window. The dad looks at this woman and she yeah. she looks back at him and she like does a double take and then she goes like, hey. Like, hey, I've never, kinda, like, never, never had like, sex with really an alien annoying. before. What's up? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh -huh. But then he like stretches out his weird, creepy hand to grab her sprite. She's like, mm, "Nope, can't do it." Her <laughs> sprite that is constantly turned towards the camera, so you can see as a Chris as the hand is grabbing sprite. it and pulling it. Yeah, Fuck. it rotates it. Oh, ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, hey baby. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. I Oh, Sprite. Right. Oh Jesus Christ. It's okay. They won't hurt you. They won't hurt you. She fucking left her friend. Yeah, she did. Did you say where she was going? Jesus Christ. Um, 14. But, okay. 14 fucking scenes of Coca-Cola products. So, 14. And when I say scenes, yeah. I mean like they will pass this Coke can back and forth for four minutes and I count it as one. That's one and there's scene. there's 14 yeah. of those. Anyway. Yeah. But okay, so the, the alien family walks out of the car and says like, I need another. That Sprite wasn't good enough. I need this another is some Coke. bullshit. We need so some actual the, Coke. They just wander into the grocery store and start knocking over all the Coke displays and grabbing cans. And and the store manager's like, call security. And their cop 
that they have at their grocery store pulls a fucking gun armed, on them. Their armed grocery <laughs> store guard. Yeah, he, he pulls a, a fucking gun on Mac's dad, and Mac's dad just, like, grabs the gun, and he's like, fuck around, find out, buddy. <laughs> All right, whatever. He's just I got waving it around and waving everybody. Around everywhere, <laughs> aiming it at everything. And then the fucking sheriff show up, like, three seconds later. Hey, their response time is impeccable. <laughs> Like, 20 sheriffs, guns drawn, just taking kids hostage and pulling them out of the situation. Like, just escalating it way more than it needs to be. It, it, this is a very accurate scene. They grab, like, the one cop grabs the kid. And yeah. I honestly, I thought that he was going to put the he gun, gun the at the kid's kid? head. Like, like, the way that they grabs him is he grabs him, like, in, like, a headlock. Yeah. And he's got his gun. And it's... It's a hostage scene, but it's the cop holding the child. It's that ain't that ain't that oh, some shit, right? God. But like, okay, so they walk out, uh, and Eric's with like their perfectly framed Coca Cola bottle with their Coke, in Coke in each each cop's and hand. their gun uh, <laughs> and the gun in the other hand. Yeah, uh, and and then like Eric's like, let me just talk to them. Don't shoot them. They won't hurt anybody. They won't hurt anyone. I'll do it. I'll talk to them. And the cop's like, no. So then Eric just rolls out anyways. A cop goes after him, trips, drops his gun, and blam, right through his fucking chest. Eric! <laughs> yep. And then yeah, that blows up the a... gas station, which blows up the whole fucking mall. It doesn't blow, okay, it doesn't blow up the gas station. It just shoots the mall. Oh, There's the mall no, just explodes for no reason. The mall just explodes. They're, they don't even show it hitting it's, the gas station. It's it like just, a 30-foot fireball. It's an entire mall complex that yeah. goes up in, like, a chain reaction. It's fucking wild. Also, when we say, I, I want to make exceptionally clear, I will put up this scene on Twitter. Um, or you can just look it up. I mean, you can look it up, too. But search alternate Mac and me Japanese ending because... There is, they edit it out for American audiences, I guess, and like North America and stuff. Because it's graphic. The original release, when we say that he shoots this child through the chest, they explicitly show this cop fucking murder this kid. Like he shoots him in the back and it shows the bullet exit his chest. It's fucked. It's <laughs> it's really fucked up. Unbelievably fucked up. Like, uh, so his family. And Mac's family all join hands around Eric's very actual dead body. They make this it cop clear shot. that he's dead. Like the cop uh, comes over, yeah. checks his pulse, and goes, "No, he's gone. There's nothing we can do. He's, he's fucking dead. Super dead." And after the aliens walk out of the giant fireball with no damage at all, uh, and and they they conduct Sorry, a the giant fireball. I believe you mean the fire dot png. Oh, the fire png on top of the mall footage. Um, but so they have the aliens walk out of this like fire yeah. gif that is absolutely just a gif. It's incredible. It looks so fucking but bad. It they, looks they, so bad. They perform a seance and revive his soul from his the land of the back dead. From the land of the dead. Oh, they're gonna seance his fucking spirit. Yeah. Like, how does this work? He's dead. They're magic aliens. God, the little girl just crying over them doing this is really good. Oh yeah, yeah, they just get magic twinkle fingers. Okay. What? His howling spirit comes straight back from hell and enters back into his body. And then we just, like, hard cut to a courthouse where we're inducting the aliens into as U.S. citizens. That you will defend us against all terrors, foreign and domestic. <laughs> and, and then somebody gave these fucking aliens, like, from Titan, a loan, and they bought a car. <laughs> a pink Cadillac convertible. Like a 50s you know? Cadillac. Yeah. And, and they're driving down the highway of L.A., like, Mac and me too. Yeah, Mac blows a, gu a bubble gum bubble that says, we'll be back as the final scene. Like, 
God, that's like Munchie saying Munchie will have another sequel, like, where he meets Bill Clinton. That shit's not happening. No, they will. <laughs> we'll be back. You don't do no, that. Don't not. put that at the end of your movie. <laughs> they will not. Especially they, when it's a giant turd. Will. Yeah. They Jesus. thought this movie was getting a sequel. Uh, okay, I counted 10, 29 advertising scenes that were separate advertising scenes. Yeah, that's about right. I have 14 for Coca-Cola products, yeah. one Sprite, 13 Coke. I have five different McDonald's scenes, counting the entirety of that McDonald's dance slash chase sequence as one which is fucked up because it, it should shouldn't be, more. be one. It should be um, more. The yeah. Gatorade box, uh, when they were moving the big Gatorade box, they had to constantly rotate to show that it had a Gatorade on it. There was only three Skittles, which I counted. Yeah, there wasn't... They were really egregious. There wasn't a lot, but, but yeah. there was only three of them. Um, they had the Otter Pop. They had two different Sears scenes. They had a Carnation scene. But that was it. So I guess that I got only to like... I don't know how you got so many, because I, I guess that I only got... 19, 20, 20, 20. I counted... I only got, like, 28. Sometimes like they showed a Coke, and then they they changed the camera away, and then they came back a minute later, and it's technically the same Coke, but I count that as a separate instance. Fair. It, it, was so, those, it was so long. Ones. Like, yeah. it was so long that I'm like, I know that's the same can, but this is another advertisement. That's, that's incredibly <laughs> fair to do it that way. Yeah, yeah um, like... That's what I'm saying is when I counted 14, like 14 is a lot. That's a lot. You've got to yeah. understand that, like, if you think about it, you're talking about a movie that is an hour and 20 minutes and you've got 14 separate scenes. Coke scenes. Coca-Cola advertisement yeah. in it. When you're, if you're like, okay, well, each of those, even if they're only 10 seconds, that like, that's a lot. You're talking about like every two minutes of this movie is a Coke scene. And yeah. I'm not even counting each individual, like you're saying they would have a coke in a scene then they would talk for two minutes and then they would go back to the coke and i counted that as one mm -hmm. so when you're looking at 14 like you've got to understand every 30 seconds of this movie you are seeing a new advertisement it's pretty amazing how many ads like, are in this thing another movie that's kind of like this with advertising is snakes on a plane yeah. Um, the yep. entire intro of Snakes on a Plane is a Red Bull advertisement, and yes. then the movie happens. Mm -hmm. It's like 20 minutes of Red Bull, including an interrogation scene inside of, like, a fucking police interrogation room. They made sure to show the fucking energy drink yes. multiple times, turned, and then the movie. Like, this is that for every scene. <laughs> here, is, here is me begging you begging you the viewer to please 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 desperately i need you to stop giving the money for quote unquote bad movies that you know are bad yeah because like the oh well but they're doing a joke they're making it bad on purpose no they're not they're advertising it to you that yeah, way because they made a shit movie stop giving the money for it yeah this, it this movie's not not a bad movie it's an advertisement and sure but like, i'm also I, talking about like that's snakes my, on a plane too snakes like, on a plane i snakes actually the plane in asylum okay. films please stop watching those stop watching movies that are like oh they're bad on purpose no i'm gonna disagree because i love snakes on a plane i just hate the advertising at the beginning <laughs> If you, if just, you cut out if you cut out that twenty minutes, it's a really off, good I'm movie for that last hour because it's just it knows what it is and it's total bullshit, <laughs> and I love it. Um, but I also had an experience of watching that in the theater alone on opening night. Well, uh, me and my friend uh, were alone, so it was just an empty theater. Okay, and if it you was can just perfect. Like, throw popcorn at the yeah, and we were just we were just loud as fuck, and people kept coming in and being like, "Who the fuck is?" Oh, and then just yeah, leave it. Just screw around. Yeah, it was great. Okay. I love that. Like that's that, that's probably fair. a little bit of my experience with that movie, but sure. That's fair. Um, okay, so we got to rate the dogs. There were dogs in this movie. There were dogs in this movie. Like the polar bear poster that we both thought was a dog. We, we both we fucked were like, up. Aha, yeah. there's Matt. We, we found it. There's the dog Lincoln Mac and me. The kid has a 
uh, a poster on their wall. It's like a white like shaggy a, dog. It looks yeah. like a big white shaggy dog. And then it zoomed in and it was a polar bear. And we're like, oh, fuck. Both of us made <laughs> yeah, that but, mistake. But, what it but then to the side, we're dogs in a bed, in a poster, <laughs> watching TV. You know? <laughs> yeah, we didn't notice that So we that were one. saved anyways. <laughs> As they zoomed in on the polar bear, we both noticed at the same time that they had two dogs. There was like a Doberman and a German Shepherd laying down in bed like they were a couple watching TV on a poster in this kid's mood. What a cool kid. What a cool this, poster. I have to admit, this kid had some fucking style as far as posters in the room. Because yep. those posters whipped ass. I, I, if I, I could find a poster of the two dogs in bed watching TV again, yeah. fuck, I would buy I, that in a second. I would rate two dogs in bed poster as a black light poster that I bought for $5 and colored in with magic markers out of mm -hmm. 10. That is a cool Absolutely. poster. Now there's also the raccoon trash dog. Yeah, there was a trash dog. We had that a was a very trash good trash dog. dog. Mm -hmm. uh, loves trash. Uh, would give at least a 10 out of 10. What a good dog. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and then dogs there's love like trash canonically the twenty street dogs that cause a rollover and kill Mac <laughs> in a horrible crash. What was the point of that scene? So they could play the song that they purchased for the film I about guess. friendship. Like, what? Yeah, why they were they singing a song about friendship while Mac is hiding in a tree from dogs trying to eat him? Well, and the pit, and the mom and the kid are like out running, jogging. Like, yeah, yeah, they're on a what? jog. What did, what did friendship all, have to do with any of that? There's like, the dogs are running through the street and there's a ca couple of car accidents behind them yeah. because of it. Because they're causing pileups, yeah. While that's happening, it's like happening five feet behind them jogging and they never notice. This movie it's is almost, full of that. It's, it's almost comical, that. except it's not funny. It's no, just weird. Like, it, yeah, it feels like it's meant to be played almost as a joke that these people don't notice it. Because they're so but it's oblivious. Played yeah. so straight that it's not. One of the other things I actually forgot to mention, since we're now mentioning all the pileups, when there was yeah. a when there was the chase scene later on with the government agents, I was it was legitimately extremely tense, but not in any way that they meant it to be. Because they have this small child in his wheelchair inches from death every 10 seconds like cars spinning out in front of him as he's going down the freeway and it is yeah th that looked like a real real that looked like a real shot like they didn't they didn't like superimpose it they look like no. they just put that kid down a hill and then crashed a bunch of cars in front of it and hoped for the best yeah, and there, was, there's also like the I horses. was legitimately worried they were going to splatter yeah, this child. Was, like it was actively terrifying. There's scenes later where there's like horses that almost run into their car. Yeah, like and, the and they they almost topple movie. the van on accident, like leaving that place too. And like I don't think they meant to do that. They just drove too fast. No, as much as the special effects. So we talked yeah. about the special effects being awful, like the the fire dot PNG yeah. and stuff that they walk out of. The actual stunts in this movie are too real. <laughs> like, yeah. where they're, they're way too close to cars all the time. Like you said, like the horses running next to the van. I was like, oh my God, why is that horse 30 like inches from this van? It's so close. Like the horse why like veers this? into it and there's like, oh shit. And then veers away. Like it's so bad. There's stuff that you're sitting there like. Oh my god, how many shots did they have to take because they had to put down three horses after running them over? And why did they even need to do that? Like, There was no of... reason for that scene, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of like... well, And when they throw the kid off of the cliff, that actually looks pretty real. <laughs> they get like a good ragdoll in a wheelchair to fall off that cliff. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things like that that are kind of like, ooh, that's... That's too graphic for a kid's movie. Like Yeah, and then when they shot the actual real kid actor in the back and the bullet went through. Yeah. A little yeah, bit rough. Probably yeah. shouldn't do that. You probably don't need that in your PG movie. No. Um, I would give Street Dogs a 12 out of 10. They were very good mm -hmm. dogs and they really wanted to murder back. Back to the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> let's just let's ignore all that stuff. Um This movie's Fucking weird. That's Mac and me. That's Mac and me. I, I, watched, I, this, I watched this about yeah. four or five times as a kid. And what scares me the most about that is that I never realized there was so much advertising in it. 
I only remember like a couple of key scenes. Like yeah. I, I kind of remember the escape sequence. I kind of remembered him rolling down the hill and falling off the cliff. Like I remember a couple things like that, but I, I did not remember all the advertisement. That being said, I don't drink any pop at all. I don't like soda and I hate McDonald's. And now I'm starting to wonder, I was like, okay, well, like, was this movie sub subliminally advertising to me as a child? And then I'm like, well, at least it was horrifying enough with Ronald McDonald's weird, gross faces and the strange alien shit that maybe it traumatized me away from all of this. So it was actually doing a good thing. You don't have to worry about Mac and me subliminally doing anything. It's all, it's all overt and it's right in your face. There's no subliminal messaging here. I'm wondering if maybe instead so, of maybe that maybe it just didn't work. I don't like McDonald's. And Coke. Yeah, maybe maybe it just didn't work. Like you imagine McDonald's and then Max O'Face showed up in your and head it instantly. And yeah, like, like no. Oh, oh God! Oh, it was associating <laughs> Mac yeah. with the horrible sucking and blowing of weird, <laughs> weird aliens. I want to mention the last McDonald's advertisement that I marked down in this movie is yeah. in their citizenship ceremony where they're being sworn in the little mac is wearing a mac kids a mick kids shirt he's True. wearing a fucking mcdonald's shirt in the which final you can series. now purchase for the nintendo entertainment system for the low cost of 39.99 like, and you oh too can play God. mick kids right yeah i the the way that they advertise is so incredibly egregious it's so bad. Yeah, can you imagine if somebody would just like sell out that hard for yeah, like for a show? Like right? like come on, that would be absurd. Absurd. Mhm. Mm It'd be almost like if God, sorry. I'm talking about this is making me really thirsty. Yeah, that bottle of Starbucks caramel macchiato mm -hmm. looks incredibly refreshing and it after this really movie is it i feel like is. i feel like that is exactly what i need to wake me up for the rest of the day i can tell uh, you and just i get had me to take ready. a break before this because i was tired after watching this movie and i feel incredibly perked up now that i have had my uh starbucks iced espresso caramel macchiato now available in two liter bottles at your local grocery store yeah uh, I, can't I can't believe people would sell themselves out like that like, yeah it's terrible just but... the worst the, yeah, I. As far as the rest of it goes, though, like, it's not a terrible movie. It's not like, yeah, it's bad, but it, it it's not worst movie ever. The way that people have ad talked about it, like, I mean, I guess that it's kind of egregious with its advertising and stuff. It it's not like there were any other movies around that time that had like a small alien that really liked a specific candy where they did like a bunch of horrible advertising for it. Like, there wouldn't have been something like that. And it certainly wouldn't have been popular and huge no. and people loved it. That would have been... I mean, no, nobody would have done an egregious advertising campaign like that in a movie back then. And so yeah, that and really they, they would have... show Mac as being a different thing. So I guess that that's like if they Because if they named it after an acronym, right? Like, uh, uh, Mysterious like Alien Mac Creature. Mac actually stands Mac. for... Um, what was it? Something mysterious Alien, alien mysterious Creature. Mysterious Alien Creature. Like, yeah, yeah. like, what would they name it? Like extraterrestrial fucking lame yeah that'd be stupid and they wouldn't do like some ad that movie would it, like, suck where they no one would like, watch like that. like skittles where they had it constantly throughout the movie like no i don't know like if they did it like with like whoppers or something like they wouldn't do or milk duds they wouldn't do that milk like, duds nobody Ugh. else did anything like this it was such a unique movie for the time that i guess yeah. that maybe they thought it was uniquely bad like, because of all the advertising in it like that like it was yeah movie. um when you yeah. think about it that way, it, it's kind of like uh, like if they made that movie, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Mac and Me would be uh, more like a stanza and a poem. You know, it's like poetry. Like they would rhyme. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And that's rough cuts. <laughs> well, there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye. You can check out our Patreon and help us so that we don't have to sell out to Starbucks anymore. If you, if you would like to support our podcast, much like the refreshing Starbucks caramel macchiato at your local grocery <laughs> store, you can follow us on Patreon. <laughs>
Um, you can also follow us on Twitter at roughcutscast.com. Uh, well, you can go to at, rough, at roughcutscast for our Twitter. Uh, roughcutscast at gmail.com is our email if you want to send us in suggestions for movies or any like other things that you have like that. We've actually gotten some fan art for things, weirdly enough, which is awesome and amazing. Thank you very, very much, Smuck of All Trades. Uh, yeah, but it was Mac and me. Hell of a thing. Smell you later, nerds. <laughs> it sucks. Why does it make record scratches? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's remixing shit. Yeah. <laughs>